Okay, now I'm gonna show you how to machine this in sub block here. Uh, this is a more in sub block, so I'm gonna show you how to machine the glaive uh, surface and uh, uh, bottom green face by following the uh, purple color edge. Uh, I'm gonna use five axis to machine this. So if we're able to machine this by five axis, this also means that this area we no need to create uh, an electro to do EDM. Let's go to cam and the create procedures. I'm um, going to use a production procedure. And make sure uh, you select the cutter. I'm going to use M6 and go to SS. And I'm going to use a project curve functions. The dry face, all the purple color face will be my dry face. Right. And then Two axis, yes, three degree, I think okay. So for this, I'm going to put 90 degree tilt angle so that uh, my, I, I can swap the face. And the rest, I'll leave it and click OK. Ah, I think I forgot to select the the curve. Uh, no, let's clear selections. Select this. This one, yes. Right. And let's calculate. And you uh, will have two paths like this. Right. So the entry, I don't like it. I need to do some entry and, and also the lifting is too high. So I will change the link. And first we change the retract will be automatic and this I will reduce it and use lead in and I am going to use lead out and the lead in I will use a tangent arc 200 percent okay this I'm good with this and for the out I will choose a uh, reverse tangent arc, a, a reverse tangent arc, 100%. And this will give me a lower, lower uh, lifting clearance and also a engine entry here I don't like this later I'm going to change it to vertical tangent and for this one reverse tangent okay so let's change Link as reverse vertical tangent. No, uh, let's change to reverse tangent arc uh, for the entry. I'll put um, tangent. 
engine arc. Maybe I'll put vertical tangent arc. Yeah. Yep, the end is better, I think. Let's check. Uh, let's go to the navigator. Check this. Yes, it's better. Let the machine move out. And for the starting, that looks good to me. Yes. Okay. So after we get the two path. This is what we want. The next thing that you should do is to go check whether this two part uh, overcut the part or not. So we need to go to assess and go do the go check. And most of the time, the last one I will select everything and just report collisions. And you can cancel the right face. So I'm going to select all. You can select all if you want. And here I'll put report creation here. Okay. Sets of clearance. Mm, normally I put this one I'll put zero. This one, yeah, you can put 0.5 if you want. I'll put zero. And okay. Then you just okay and do the calculations. This will check the path against the surface slacks, right? So after calculation, normally I will look at the log, and it will tell you uh, if there's a collision here, right? So we have we have forty collision here. So how to know where is this uh, forty collisions? You can always go to navigator. Mm, let me make my lines thicker and let's change to dark blue. Okay. And go to navigator. You go to the verification mode. You, you can hide everything. Then you can display only the gouge area. Do you see the, this line here? So by this one, you can just display the gouge. So this area, the two is is gouging the part a little bit. Mm -hmm. So we have two area, one here, three area, one here, another one is here. Right? So this is how how to find where where the two path gouge the part. Next, we need to do some uh, apply some cor corrections. So I will go to assess. So we, first, we need to do this, and we need to do a, a tilt to use side angle. And we're going to check against the uh, round here. I'm going to select all the round place. So I'm telling Simaton uh, to check if the two path is gouging this round and do auto tilting. Do some auto tilting to co correct the two path. Okay, done. And also, uh, after uh, Simaton applied this uh, tilt to corrections, the two path may overcut the bottom face. 
so it is always to add the second go check just for the tip we try along two axes and I'm going to select and you can put some offset if you want select the bottom face go check against the bottom face So if there's an old card, you automatically retract the two to do the corrections. Um, yeah, that's the setting. And let's go calculate. And let's check the message again, the log. Congratulations, there's no collisions detected, right? So let's go to do some simulation here. Uh, machine simulation, yes. Slow down a bit. Right, so we have done the site. We have done the site. Next, we're going to make a copy to do the bottom. I'm going to edit this procedure. SS. Uh, I'm going to use the same same strategy. Uh, but the dry face now is not the side but the bottom so I'm going to select this bottom face I'm going to use the tip of the cutter to cut this face here right and the uh, curve curve I'm going to use back the same curve yeah yeah, that's it. Then next, I will pencil the tube. I will set it normal to surface. Right. So, and for this, yes. Uh, For this, uh, I don't think the two will touch the side wall. Yeah. 
for the bottom face. Yeah, for safety, uh, retract along two axes. So this I was same. I was select the bottom face. Yeah, just in case. Uh, it all cut at the bottom. And for the link, how about the link? Mm, let's use the same as the previous and let's calculate and let's see and there's some problem here Uh -huh. we have problems <laughs> why because we choose the reference to to be a uh, center so this should be uh, to the left so let's click here to the left yeah Yep. And now I think this is the this should be okay. Yep. To the left. The entry is okay. How about the exit? Mm -hmm. This one is not okay. Right. This is not okay. So we need to do something here. Assess uh, link the the end reverse tension up. Uh, how about we do a flip? Flip so that it go the other side Right, it looks good for me. And let's check the lock to see uh, any collision or not. Yep, there's a 21 collision still exists. So let's check where is the collision. Uh, navigator and go to verifications. and go check over here in front ah is is cutting the is is touching the bottom, the, um, this one, the parting surface. A little bit. Okay. So to solve this we can always go again 
to add the the spotting surface to the Dell check this one as a check surface so we are let's add all this and okay and okay and let's look at the lock we have still three creation axis and where's creations let's see Here. The rest of the area is good. The tree collision is here. Ah, okay. Uh, it is hitting the this face here so to solve this we might need to uh, trim this this uh, curve again okay let's trim one frame trim some more um, some more here yes here okay and we might need to recalculate the previous one And now I think everything is solved. Yes, no more creations. And for the previous one also, there's no creations. Right? So this is how this is normally how you uh, program the five axis create a, the steps to create the five axis path. By using the production functions. Yeah, let's do some simulation here. Move go down, cut down. Right, that's it. So, uh, if you want this file, please uh, read the comment below. The 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 YouTube comment below, and there's a link for you to uh, get this file for further study and please subscribe to my channel if you want to know more about my uh, future video